Have you ever thought just how lucky you are to be alive? To be a living being? No human being has ever seen a live Ictosaurus and no one will ever be able to see one. Massive extinctions took place millions of years ago, so long ago that life had time to start again from zero, leaving behind creatures that were lost forever in the transformation suffered by a young, inexpert and changing world. No human being, not you, not your children, nor your children's descendants, will ever be able to see a living marsupial wolf despite the fact that our grandparents shared the world with them. None of us will ever be able to see a dodo, nor a moa, nor a giant orc. We are the most efficient agent of a phenomenon which is as old as life itself, the extinction of species. But we are becoming so efficient in our role as destroyers that as we begin to understand the interdependent mechanisms of life on Earth, we are realizing that perhaps our own activities could end up leading our species along the road to extinction. Life is, above all, a mystery. As far as we know, our universe is a superb mirage of the laws of physics, chemical convulsions, and silent, colossal, and almost eternal geological travelers. Incredibly beautiful, but all of them dead. Or almost all of them. tiny blue speck in a dark, dead immensity. The Earth. The hand of God or an unthinkable coincidence of random physical and chemical combinations have produced an extraordinarily varied world where life has experimented for millions of years, giving rise to different, interdependent and ever-changing forms of life. The Earth became a planet of possibilities for life. Each ecosystem, each niche, each space on the Earth or beneath the sea was exploited by biological prototypes that have gradually taken shape as the passage of eras changed the conditions of the natural environment. The species changed as the planet matured. The first living beings did not appear until almost 4,000 million years after an explosion. For us, unimaginable, though small on the scale of the universe, gave rise to the solar system. But following the first pulsations of life, it immediately began its relentless mutations. The forms of life multiplied, 
varying their bodies, their capacities, and their requirements for subsistence. The complexity of living beings increased, animals and plants diversified. The new species were more complex and sophisticated. They even became sociable, giving rise to behavior that favored the survival of the group above that of the individual. And the earth was filled with specialists, marvelous biological entities capable of perpetuating themselves. Life spread to every corner of our small, extraordinary planet. But in this process of experimentation and change, there were failures as well as successes. Terrestrial and extraterrestrial factors marked eras of great changes during which life had to start all over again. From the time the first living being appeared to the present day, these great changes have wiped out 99% of all the species that have ever existed. And they did so in specific periods of time, millennia marked by unusual mortality, which we have called massive extinctions.